coach, uh, nail biting match. Uh, we got a point from it. How do you analyze it overall? Um, like I mean, of course, like when you play these type of games, it's always good to, you know, uh, see the the momentum comes to you know our, our team uh, where uh, one thing one side is like you know we 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 got exposed in in every 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 angle whether it's a batting or whether it's bowling or whether it's fielding uh, we were challenged so we, we got exposed in, in every little bit like you know so it's all about like you know fixing things for the next next game. Uh, but uh, getting the, getting this one point is so important for us moving forward because uh, this can be the different in, uh, when, when we are finishing the table in, in about uh, 10 months. When we start off with the batting, we made three changes and all three changes used to be uh, coming good in batting front. But uh, what do you say about the death overs in batting? Uh, I think we, we were looking 300 plus at the, uh, you know, the way we are going. Uh, so we, we, we couldn't finish the way we want. But a lot of credit to the USA bowlers, how they came back and uh, how, how they bowled the depth overs. And I'm, I know that they are mainly like, you know, some of these guys are uh, uh, well-known T20 bowlers. Uh, so, but they executed their plans pretty well. And uh, we didn't, uh, like, you know, adjust to those things. Like, you know, the, our plan was at the last six, five, six overs, we, were, we wanted to get run a ball rather than looking for eight, ten runs. Uh, but the, we, we got a bit of panic and, and we were still looking for big shots and we, because of that we gave a lot of drop balls and we couldn't get where we want to. Once again our top orders started the innings but they didn't turn into the biggest score. So what do you think is lacking in there? Uh, I, I think that, like you know we, we still, I mean there's a young group still like you know they're a long way to go. We are still around 23, 24 average age but uh, uh, we batters need to learn to convert these uh, 40s, 50s into big, big runs. I think uh, the, the way USA batted, like you know, Taylor getting a hundred is a big thing, and then even Monarch was, you know, getting a big fifty. That was a different, actually. And uh, uh, even like you know, when we take Dave Kanal, like you know, he batted so well, and uh, and he had in, enough overs to get a hundred, and he was like, looking tired, and he threw the game away at one one point. So it's all uh, learnings for us, and and these youngsters are like you know doing well. I, I will not take anything out of their, the, the, the good things that they have done, but it's just not, they, they, they need to learn the next level. Posting to 74 in total, so we had 200 runs partnership against us. So do you think our bowling is still lagging during that previous performance also? Uh, yeah, we, we still uh, need to get better. I mean, uh, we, we depend too much on Sandeep and, you know, Karan always comes and uh, do his job. Uh, but still, um, uh, for us to do well in this tournament, the rest of the games, like you know, our left armers has to, left arm spinners has to come through. So I'm looking forward, like you know, for the next few games uh, to get those things right. So we saw from the dressing room that you and your assistant coaches have been trying out over after over regarding the field placement balls. So do you think uh, Sandeep has not been able to cope with the pressure until now? Uh, Sandeep is learning as a captain. He's also young. Uh, I mean, like, uh, he has done pretty well so far, but uh, then still. Uh, he, uh, he he's a bit behind on um, when it comes to the T20 versus 50 over. He's a guy who is always attacking and and looking for things uh, immediate things. So um, he just need to be adjusting to the longer version. Uh, but he's in the right track. Uh, it's just a matter of time. He will he will be he will get there. Do you think the fact he's young is hampering or affecting his decision making just inside the field? Uh, I think uh, the, the the if you if you take the, the he he's the best choice that we have. So we had to work with him. And team is young, captain is young, so it's only ca can improve from here. Good. Hey, let's get say, someone else. Someone else. Yeah. Coach, you, as you said about Dave Manal, uh, is he celebrated uh, too early as a score the fifty like celebration? I mean, he's a young guy. First, first. Uh, I mean, not the first ODI fifty, but first fifty in this uh, league. Uh, and he's you're always excited to you know to to get a, to pass the fifty. But I, I just want them to get more hunger, uh, like, you know, this 50 is like, one inning is just like, it's just an inning, just, he should be looking to bat through. Um, he, he's, in, he, he's in very, uh, I mean, I would say he's in the right track. Uh, he's, he's, he's a very, like a guy where, who thinks pretty well, his mind is good, uh, the technique is good, so he's, he has a great future for Nepal. Is there any injury concern? I'm sorry? Is there any injury person in Nepali camp? Uh, yeah, few few injuries are still there, um, and uh, even the 
uh, heat has got, got got into us. Uh, you know, we are struggling a bit of uh, uh, the conditions like uh, and. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm, that we're happy. That we have two two more days to go for the next game, so I'm, I'm sure that we will we will put the best team out uh, for the next game uh, after you know recovering next two days. Two questions for me, coach. One about the ending, and one about Stephen Taylor. The ending has the same question as Sandy Amichani. One it needed to win off two balls for USA. There was a chat about whether to put a man on the boundary or to bring everybody into the circle. Ultimately, the man on the boundary wound up paying off. What went into the decision-making process for that to happen from your perspective? Uh, I mean, at, at the end, we saw a bit of like still, uh, uh, I mean, knowing Steven Taylor also, like he, he wants to finish the game like you know, a bit early. So I, I, we, we, we were fully aware that he's looking for these uh, big shots means looking for boundaries. So, uh, I mean, there was a yeah, discussion like in you know, a few times whether to have the, the uh, field inside or, or in the boundary. But I'm talking about the very last two balls when it was Aaron Jones on strike with one right. run to win off two balls. You could have bought everybody in with the scores level just to cut off the single. Instead, you kept the one guy out. What was behind that? No, I, I think the, the plan was for, uh, for Adil to bowl fuller and straight. So we uh, anticipated that it can be, you know, uh, there, there can be a low full toss. So we wanted the score like, uh, like you know, uh, outside the 30-yard circle, about 10, 10 feet inside the uh, bound line. So it, it worked, and, and even the, the place that Rohit was standing, the catch, catch was actually not going for him, but he, he anticipated as soon as the ball was pitched up, he just ran forward, and he got, uh, got the catch. So that was a turning point also to, to, to be in the tie. Tight position. Stephen Taylor today, his first century in ODI cricket, but he scored one against the fall when he was the coach the first time around in Bermuda, three centuries overall. And he just passed Steve Messiah today to become the all time leading scorer for USA in limited overs cricket history. Significant achievement. You were in charge as USA coach for a long time during his time frame, moving up the run charts, whether it's as the ball coach now or as a former USA coach. What stands out to you about Stephen Taylor and his place in USA cricket history? I mean, Stephen was uh, one of the best uh, I think USA had, and and he's still scoring runs. Uh, I still feel that he he, he he would have been like you know he can contribute more actually uh, if he if he gets the, uh, his work ethics right, uh, uh, if he works a bit harder than he's do, he's doing now, uh, he's he's the best batter and 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 uh, the caliber that. You know he has. Uh, he is capable of scoring against any bowling attack. Uh, I mean, um, I'm not like you know talking about the, the the batting tracks, but I've seen him even on hard tracks. He when he wants to go, he, when he's in form, he he gets through it. So he, I think it's a big asset for USA cricket, and I hope he will play more more years for USA. Coach, um, they say catches win matches, but we lost more than a couple of opportunities. So um, if we uh, look at the later half of the inning where Rohit had a catch and then Perens uh, run out. So how do you evaluate overall the last fielding effort today? Uh, overall, I'm disappointed uh, about fielding. I mean, we always talk about uh, we are fitter side, young side. Uh, so, so the fielding should be our strength. Uh, but um, when the when the game get tougher, I, ch I, I think like you know these young players get into uh, pressure, and and we we haven't really performed in, in key points, key, key, key time periods. Uh, so it's, it's, it's important like, you know, for us to improve and I'm personally as a coach I'm disappointed like, you know, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be in, in this situation if you have hold of, got, got hold of those catches and, and those are not hard ones also. Uh, but I think uh, end of the day it's all learning and, and it's like you know, we are going to keep pushing to get better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.